Hello all. The reasons for today's quick video are I want to make a short hammer eye punch and I want to use 1045 medium carbon for that and get away from exotic alloy steels for such tools. And I'm also testing a new camera. And lastly, I want to try a simple punch alignment tool. I want this punch to be short for an odd reason and I'll explain that a little bit later. Be sure to mark the odds and ends that you're not using right away so you'll remember what they are later on. What's up, good buddy? It's right there. It's right in front of your eyes. There you go. Yeah, long time no see. Good to see you again. I haven't seen my good buddy here in over a year. Really surprised and happy to have him back. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, one other purpose for today's video. I want to get rid of stock and stuff I have sitting around that I originally had for other projects. This hex stock was for hammers. And so I'd like to make those hammers and get rid of them. So I've cleaned this piece up and I've drilled two holes for where the eye is going to be. I don't always do this, but for today, testing that short blunt punch, I think this will help me to just see if it's going to work or not. This longer H13 handheld punch is what I would normally use in this situation. You can see I've wrapped it there with rubber and some tape. Uh, I've had a problem of late with someone complaining about the noise and it's always specifically when I'm working on hammers. And so I'm trying to reduce that noise as much as possible. Getting rid of the hex stock was spurred on by a customer actually ordering this type of hammer. And so you can see here I've made his and that's already done. But like I said, I use my longer punches. And the oddball thing about it is the sound vibrates because I'm high up hitting on that piece. I've noticed that when I'm much lower, closer to my anvil face, that the noise is much less. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish with this shorter punch here. Plus, I just want to monkey around and see if this alignment tool will help at all, or if just having a punch tongue would be better and, and much more simple. That piece of pipe has an inside diameter of 32 millimeters, and the short punch there is 30 millimeters. And so I could get 32 millimeter stock, and that's what I actually, have actually ordered that in medium carbon steel, but in the meantime, I'll see how this works. At any rate, I want to get back to my roots some and just use straight carbon steels and get away from the fancy alloys. I'm holding off on relining my forge with the new material I recently purchased. I've gotten back to oil quenching after discovering soybean oil and how it doesn't flare up, at least for me. a little low on oil here but it'll work. I found this to be very effective for medium carbon steel. Just that quench is enough, no need to anneal. I just want to take a few taps before I use that alignment tool just to get my marks right where I want them. A punch tongue would be great but I don't have one for 30 millimeters. Probably another video. So I could probably lengthen that pipe just a little bit and I'll also probably lower the hardy shank, lower the pipe closer to the anvil face, just a hair. So this is working just fine, but you'll notice that I have to be very deliberate in my strikes so as to not make that punch pop out. No holes and using a more slender tapered slot punch should result in more friction and so a snugger fit. I'm really pleased with this short punch and I'll make a few more by forging rather than cutting and grinding.
So before this video is over, what I wanted to say is that anyone interested in purchasing one of these hammers, get in touch with me. I just want to get rid of the stock I have left and so I'll give a pretty good discount to anyone who would like one. Also in the comments below, let me know how the video quality is with my new camera here. Is it better? Is it worse? Is it the same? Whatever. I'll catch you guys next time.